Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. Ria is going to help me do a taste test on these right here. This is Lily's Milk Chocolate Style Covered Almonds. If you look at my go-to videos, you'll see that I have almonds dipped in homemade chocolate. And back when I first started keto, that's what you had to do if you wanted any kind of nuts dipped into chocolate. But now, I was walking around Whole Foods and I saw these. Now, Lily's is already known for having chocolate with no sugar. What they do is they use stevia. So it's kind of good that they're moving beyond their uh, chocolate bars and are getting into chocolate covered nuts. And so I really wanted to do a taste taste video on these because it's the first time I saw them. I love almonds. We all know almonds are very keto friendly. They have chocolate. I love chocolate. So it covers all the points for one of my taste test videos. I did buy them from Whole Foods and they were $6.99 plus uh, 50 cents off for being a Prime member. Before I open them, let me get through the nutritional facts first. So one serving is one ounce, about 28 grams. This whole package right here has three and a half uh, servings. Uh, so 140 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat. I guarantee you a lot of that is the almonds. It has 12 grams of carbs, minus five fiber and two erythritol. So it's a five net carb per serving. So that means five times three and a half. So you have less than 20 grams of net carbs here. Now I wouldn't eat this whole thing in one sitting. I mean, I could, but I won't. <laughs> and, uh, and so it's nice to be able to have these as a snack whenever you're kind of craving something, just kind of kill those cravings with something like this and it also has four grams of protein. Now some of the top ingredients are dry roasted almonds, unsweetened cocoa, cocoa butter, erythritol, and chicory root fiber. It does say it has dextrin in there, so if you're cautious about that, uh, it does have it on here. Uh, it says non-GMO though, and organic whole food milk powder. So there's a couple other ingredients in there, uh, but those were the top ingredients. And yeah, let's get into it. Get this? See, lista? All right, so here we go, smell check. I'm finding a lot of the products here either I'm getting uh, old and I can't open up these bags or they're getting worse at getting them to open right off the bat. Okay. Mm. Mm. Smells good. It's almond chocolate, obviously. The texture looks really good. I can't really get them on screen because I, I have a wide angle. All right, so here we go, I don't know. Mm. Mm. So good, so good. Lily's chocolate is really good. This one's right on the edge of dark chocolate, where it's a little bit bitter, but not too much. There is a little bit of the aftertaste from the stevia, I think. Mm. But it's so creamy. The almond is so crunchy. It has a really earthy flavor from the almond. It does seem like it would melt in your hands if you held it too much. That's how soft it is how creamy it is, mm, that's really good. That's definitely gonna be handy to have. Now I've been strict for about a straight month now, so anything that's sweet seems extra sweet to me. Uh, so it is a little bit on the sweeter side, but not too much actually. I think I can handle at least one serving without you know feeling like it's overly sweet. The crunch is definitely uh, worth paying attention to, it's really nice. But I think the most impressive thing about the chocolate right there is how creamy it is. It almost makes me want to put them in the freezer and see how they're gonna taste, how, how much cruncher is gonna be once they're frozen. I like both creamy and I like crunchy. So now that I kind of tasted the creamy side, I do want to put them in the freezer and see how uh, the crunchy part is gonna come out. So I'll probably do that next. See? I definitely recommend these. These are really good to have, especially if you love chocolate, if you have a sweet tooth. $6.99 is not crazy considering that almonds by themselves are pretty expensive and then you add to that keto friendly chocolate. Please go out and get them. Uh, let me know how you like them. That's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you have any other products you want me to check out, any kind of keto friendly snacks or anything like that or even recipes, uh, send them over, put them on the comment section below and then I'll check those out. But for now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I got a bunch of videos coming up. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.